death has no sting and the grave has no victory. For it is written that the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God which giveth us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Six years ago, death, my last enemy struck twice and took my grandfather and my brother. This devastating blow hit and shattered me like an earthenware. And as a vessel of a porter, I was broken. Yet, yeah, I was broken to Sheba's. As I remembered my abominable past secret scenes, these catastrophic events took me on a journey of deep conviction, which led me down the path of mercy and truth in hopes of finding genuine repentance life and salvation in Christ Jesus. I would have you know that life without Christ is a life of death. We are merely dust without the living soul of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Some of us are dead now even with the breath of life in our nostrils. Remember it is written that we are all created by God and for his glory and that we should all work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. So I urge each and every one of you to seriously consider your ways and to repent and to return to the Lord our God before death, your last enemy, fall upon you this day. Forsake the evil work of your hands and sin not against the Lord of hosts. For it is written that sin is the transgression of the law, not the laws of the wicked men of this dark world, but the Lord's statutes and commandments of the Holy One of Israel the Lord our God, Jesus the Christ, Son of the living God. Remember to fear God and to give him glory, for the hour of his judgment is come, and to worship him who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. For the Lord, the Lord God, is merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands forgiven iniquity and sin and transgression, and this by no means will clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and fourth generation. Praise be thy glorious name, O Lord, that he is exalted above all blessings and praise. Even in the death of my earthly father, I endeavor to give God all the glory and all the praise and honor that he respectfully deserves as I abide in the fear of the Lord. As in the days of John the Baptist, that was the voice crying out in the wilderness, saying, Make straight the way of the Lord. I, Joy, the daughter of Zion, come out of the wilderness, where the Lord has been feeding me for time and time and time again to proclaim the fear of the Lord. In the death of the late Clement, John the Baptist, my father, I proclaim with a mighty voice that all of God's creation should fear God and give him glory. For the fear of the Lord is clean. It is the beginning of wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. It is also written that in the fear of the Lord that men depart from evil and that holiness is perfected. My late father had two nicknames. The first, Albe, which simply means I will help you bear your burdens as long as you believe on Christ and fear God and give him all the glory. The second is cowboy. A cowboy can only bring forth another cowboy or a cowgirl. <laughs> and as the unbelieving Jews in Jerusalem these days wait for a female, ready and appointed for such a time as this, to cleanse and sanctify the church and the body of Christ. I am John, the daughter of Zion, Impluvius Unam, one of a kind, one out of men. I am my father's arm, his strength, his joy, and the apple of his eyes. He has